please. What you did yesterday is just that. It is yesterday. It's old news. Old news is not like fine wine. It does not get better with age. Half of the reason why so many people can't seem to move forward in their life. You know, they can't just seem to move ahead. They're not forward thinkers. They're not really progressive in the way that they strategize and really assess situations. They're definitely not progressive in terms of their actions. It's because so many of them are living in their own past. So many of them are focused on yesteryear. They like their whole life, somewhere along their journey, their life has hit this, this, this roadblock. It has hit this speed bump. It has hit the pause button. And everything for them is now reminiscent of what happened yesterday. We all know these people, you can sit and you can talk to them and in, in order to keep you engaged, they want to tell you about stories that you were in. Oh, remember we used to do this. Or remember we went here and it's like, yeah, I guess I remember. Like, like it's good speaking to you, but at the end of the day, it's like I, I'm focused that way. Like, I, I almost don't even have time. Like, it's it's nice. It's a time and a place for every everything. Like, you know, I, it's good to have these memories. But at the end of the day, my life is moving forward. I don't know what's happening with yours. I don't know why every time I see you, you are talking about, you know, you, how many points you put on the board during that final game. I don't know why, you know, you're talking about you were the prettiest girl in high school and you made prom queen or how many girls you had in college, whatever. It's like, look, you are now pushing 30, 35 years old. Please tell me what you are doing now. And this is not just in personal life, it's it's also in business. Like, please believe me, if you are in business, if you are thinking about going into business, if you are working in a corporate office, nobody, and believe me when I tell you, nobody cares what you did yesterday. They don't care. I don't care if your, your team, if your department, you guys delivered at a level where you damn near bought the company out of the red and put them into the black. Your sales numbers were top of the charts. The company had never seen anything like it. The company doesn't care because the company has to continue to grow and they want you to grow with them. And if you are reveling and sitting there, you know, with the, with the crown on your head, walking around the office, like, look, I'm the person who brought this company to the forefront. It was me. Trust me when I tell you, you will get a call from HR sooner or later talking about, you know what, we decided to go in another direction. We really appreciate what you did for the company, but you got to get the hell out of here because you got caught in your own hype. You got caught in what happened, you know, yesterday and you stopped focusing on what is going on tomorrow. Nobody cares how big your record was, you know, back in the days. I don't care. Nobody cares about that movie you made. People want to know what do you have coming out? I want to know what is new in your life, period. We see it all the time. There's so many companies out there that were top of the world, top of the world. And now nobody cares about, it. do you think anybody cares right this second how many followers you have on MySpace? You can run around right now talking about, yeah, 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 I got 50 million followers on Black Planet. And do you think anybody would give a damn? No. You know, once upon a time, everybody had a Motorola phone in their pocket. That, that was the phone, the Motorola Razor, or better yet, who didn't have a Blackberry? That was the thing, walking around and you got your little keyboard, you're sending texts and you're sending email, but somewhere along the line, Blackberry, they stopped innovating. They stopped thinking about what was in the future. And they, we got the, live, the market on lock, everybody loves our physical keyboard. Yeah, okay, yeah, everybody loves that physical keyboard. Tell that to Steve Jobs and Apple. Because while you were so caught up in what you did yesterday, Apple was thinking about the future. And yes, there was a learning curve. A lot of people were like, um, there's no physical keyboard. I, I find it hard to type on this screen. But guess what? Typing on that plate of glass, typing on that, that Apple, first and foremost, it gave you more screen real estate. But more importantly, it made people feel like they were in the future. And out goes BlackBerry. That damn near put BlackBerry out of the game. And that was a company that ran the mobile industry. 
Are you keeping up with with what's in front of you? Or are you so focused on your achievements of the past? And it's no different than in our in our relationships, right? How many times have we seen people, and maybe you're one of these people, people who come into a new situation and bring that old tired baggage from their past situation into this new situation. Like you are damn near killing your new situation. You are damn near smothering it. You that something that could blossom, something that could grow if you nourish it, water it, put your love and time and affection into it. You're so busy. Like, like this past, that baggage that you bought it, you don't realize I bought it with me and it is killing. It is stinking up the place. And now my new partner is ready to be out if they haven't already left. And it, 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 it's me. I did it. I self-sabotage because I couldn't get out the past. Please understand, I don't care what area of your life, personal, relationship, business, unless you have done something that is phenomenal, unless your name is Neil Armstrong and, and Buzz Aldrich and you were the first and second man to step foot on the moon and people will be writing about you and reading about you for all eternity, unless your name is Jesus and you did something that the earth, that the world will forever remember, that like he sacrificed his life for all of humanity and people will continue to talk about that, please, what you did yesterday is just that. It is yesterday. It's old news. Old news is not like fine wine. It does not get better with age. Think about it. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.